So the game I'm playing today is called Super Mario Bros. X. It's been a while since I played a Mario fan game on my channel. Fan games are not really something that I play on my channel anymore. I used to play them way more often uh, many years ago, like when I was just starting to make videos. I don't really do that anymore. Of course, I have played uh, Mega Maker very recently. That's like the most recent fan game I've played. But it's still not something that I do on my channel very often, and I've pretty much stopped playing Mario fan games altogether. I mean, the only one that I can think of, like the most recent one I played is Last Impact, which wasn't really that long ago. That was like a ROM hack of Super Mario 64. That was only about a year ago, but still. But this was something that I actually downloaded a couple years ago, and I meant to make a video of at the time, but I forgot I had downloaded it. I was just browsing through uh, the files on my hard drive one day, and as I was going through all of the weird stuff I downloaded, I came across this thing. And I thought to myself, oh yeah, I was going to make a video of this at one point, but I forgot to because I'm a lazy piece of crap. That's right. Now, I don't remember a great deal about this fan game, but from what I can tell, it is a Mario fan game in the style of Super Mario All-Stars. It does appear to have the exact same aesthetic. A lot of the sprites appear to be ripped directly from it. Either that or they're like Super Mario Advance 4 sprites. I can't, I can't really tell. They look so similar. And I think the biggest attraction of this game was its level editor. I do know that uh, you are able to create your own custom Mario levels in Super Mario Bros. X. Uh, I should remind you all that this game came out long before Super Mario Maker. I believe this fan game came out in 2013, so it, it's not an old fan game by any means, but this was before Mario Maker was released, or even announced for that matter. Because you see, kids, back in my day, I don't know why I'm making myself sound like an old man, but back in my day, when we wanted to create our own Mario levels, uh, we basically had to develop a game that allowed you to do that. Like, like we couldn't get Nintendo to do it, we had to do it ourselves, because Nintendo wasn't willing to, at least at the time. The level editor in this game is actually really complicated, and it's not part of the game itself. Like, basically, this, this game has a, a startup menu where you can either click a button that loads the game or another button that loads the level editor. I guess I could show that off later on. There's also a uh, battle mode here, where you can basically uh, battle your friends. That requires two players, though. I don't have another person with me, so I can't really show that off. I mean, I could try playing with, uh, well, with, with the two-player controls. Like, use the one-player and two-player controls on the same keyboard at the same time. It would look incredibly sad, but... I could at least try it, to show you guys what it's about. So without any further hesitation, I guess we'll just get started. You can see on the main menu right here that there's a bunch of computer-controlled Mario characters that are just fighting each other, and also being really horrible at completing levels here, as you can see. Um, yeah, apparently you can pick up enemies. I do know that there's that there are different power-ups, like you do have the Ice Flower power-up in this game, which is not normally in uh, Super Mario All-Stars or the Advanced games. So it's, it's interesting. You can also play as Link 2 for some really odd reason. So if we go to single player mode, we have the Princess Cliché or the Invasion 2. So these are what's known as episodes. They're basically like level packs. Uh, so you can like create level packs for Super Mario Bros. X, which contain a variety of levels. Uh, you do need to download most of them, because this is more like a, uh, more of like a community driven uh, Super Mario Brothers fan game. A lot of the levels were actually created by the community due to the fact that it has a very extensive level editor. I don't even remember what, uh, what any of these episodes entail, but I guess we could play as... We could play the Princess Cliché and, I don't know, maybe play as Luigi? As far as I know, there's really not a, a whole lot, uh... Li like, not a whole lot that makes this fan game different from other Mario fan games. Uh, I also don't remember what the controls are. Yeah, the com the keyboard controls are a little bit confusing here. Hey, Toad. Can I talk to you here? Okay, I didn't want to do that. Uh, how do, how do, how do I talk to you here? Uh, I, I don't remember the controls at all. Okay, I figured it out. I can press the up arrow key to talk to NPCs. Also, I very clearly see memes in the background. Mario, Princess Pete. Wait a second, I'm not Mario and Luigi. Princess Peach was looking for you. She said something about a cake. Why don't you head for the castle to meet her? Don't forget to grab a few mushrooms from the basement. You better get a move on. 
Well, okay then. Uh, I have no idea how this plays at all. Oh, okay. This is this is the basement here. Yeah, so let's see, just see if I remember the controls here. Yes, I'll go and pick that up. And, okay, I can just keep picking up mushrooms over and over again. Uh, yeah, I don't have a clue what's going on here. Got some mushrooms at the very least. Got one, uh, like an extra one as well. Yeah, just like Super Mario World. Okay, I don't know what the heck's going on. I guess I can just leave the screen. Okay, I guess we're, we're going somewhere. Mario's pad. Mushroom pass? Alright, we'll go to Mushroom Pass then and see what the heck's going on. Alright, well this is not, this is not Super Mario All-Stars music. Bowser's minions have taken over this road. Be careful. Okay, we'll be careful here. I know what I'm doing. Or maybe I don't because, I don't know, the controls in this are, are a little bit strange, at least on keyboard. Okay, yeah. I see, I see the pipe. Okay, why are, why are those bushes upside down? Okay, yeah, I can just move with the enemies. Of course, these are green Koopas, so they will just fall into the water and drown because they're dumb. They are extremely dumb. Can I go in this pipe? No, not at all. Not at all, for goodness sakes. Okay, just stomp on you. There we go. Oh yeah, and I think Luigi's a lot more floaty. Yeah. Well, that does make sense, because he is Luigi, after all. Okay, eat this piranha plant right here. Can I go down in this pipe? Absolutely not. Just gonna eat you guys right here. Yeah, just shoot you out, because you create fireballs. Uh, that's a Paragoomba, which I can just kill instantly with Yoshi, because he's just that awesome. There we go, just eat him. Can I go down in this pipe? No. Okay. Is, can, can I do can I do anything here? At all. Okay, well, give me this right here. Oh, I'm Raccoon Luigi. Alright. Very good indeed. Uh, riding on Yoshi, which is a little bit strange. I can go in this pipe, though. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go and see what's happening. I'm gonna hit you. Oh, wait, that just kills you instantly. Alright, never mind then. Hit those blocks. Okay, I want to hit this, of course. Yeah, because that just gives me another leaf. Eat you. Uh, okay, yeah, the, the thing is, is coming back, but hang on a second. Just launch you out right over there. It's kind of interesting how the, the coins are physics-based, so when you, when you hit the blocks, they kind of pop out, but they fall to the ground. Which I guess is interesting. Okay, hang on, Yoshi, come back. Okay, well, never mind. I was- I was way too- I was way too slow there. You need one star to enter. Oh yeah, um, another mechanic that I, uh, that I should, uh, mention to you guys- Oh wow, okay, well here's another- here's another Yoshi. Um, another mechanic that I should also mention to you guys is that you can also make it so that you can, uh, collect stars in all of these levels too. Like, uh, you can basically make it like Super Mario 64 where you need to collect stars in order to get into certain doors. Uh, great, now I will never get home. Okay, then I didn't know if I could talk to him there for a moment. Uh, yeah, but that bridge is gone. I have no idea why, but this this game also uses up a lot of uh, CPU for some reason. Oh wow, that ramp though, and killed a Goomba all the way over here. I probably cannot get down into that pipe. Uh, don't know where else I should be going. I'll just hold on to you for now. Here, just kill you with it. There we go. Who's this guy say? Be careful, Mario. There's a pink dino up ahead that won't let anyone through. Again, I'm not Mario. I'm very clearly Luigi. If this toad must be colorblind or something. I mean, Mario and Luigi do look pretty similar to one another. At least in terms of sprites. Okay, how, how, how are you doing, Birdo? Yeah, you just you just act the same way that you do in... Uh, in I, uh, you act the same way you do in Super Mario Bros. 2. I was about to question why the heck that killed me, though. Or why it didn't- or why it hurt me, I should say. Because I'm pretty sure that didn't even hit me. But, alright. Uh, I don't remember how to pick stuff up. Is it this? Is it the down arrow key? Let me just- let me just try it here. Pick it up. Uh, okay, hang on a second. Pick it up, for goodness sakes. Okay, hang on. Well, I randomly picked a turnip out of the ground. I don't know where I picked that up from. Uh... Yeah, I- I don't understand. What am I doing here? Oh, okay, wait, I need to press the S key and down at the same time, I think. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Come on, Birdo. Do it! Yeah, here we go. Oh, I need to- I need to hold onto it, though. I need to hold down, I think. Okay. I'm trying to remember how to play this, because it's been- it's been a little while. Also, how do I get that tanuki- that tanuki leaf back? Yeah, throw this at your face! There we go. That's how we do it. That's how we do it in my neighborhood. Do it again. Here we go. Okay. 
Sometimes it doesn't seem like it even works. Here. Pick it up and throw it. There we go. He jumped. She jumped into it. He jumped into it. I don't know. I've never, I've never known Birdo's gender. Birdo's genre. Oh my god. There, and I think we did it. We lost Yoshi in the process. And also my dignity. You know, for not remembering how to play this freaking game. But we're good now. We are okay. Uh, Fungi Village? Sure. Let's, let's go here and see what's happening. What is happening? It's a wonderful night in Fungi Village. Well, it certainly looks that way. You're looking for stars, I would ask around Talon. Okay, well maybe that's what we should do. This treasure could help you defeat Bowser, too bad it's mine. I don't even want you looking at it. No, we'll see about that. I'm gonna go steal your treasure. Thief, now I'll show you my true form. Oh, okay, well... I guess I'll just- I'll just have to kill you then. Wait, can I... Okay, yeah, I think that is actually doing damage to you. Or am I- am I doing damage to you? I can't tell. I mean, I could just- I could just stomp on you. Like this. Oh, and you're- you're just dead. Okay. Well, I did get it. I got my hammer suit. Now I can go kill the other villagers. Uh, who's in here? I'll take that mushroom. What do you have to say? Goombas are invading your basement? Okay. I'll take care of them with my trusty old hammers. Yes, indeed. I do know what this power-up is. Wait, what did that say? I don't know what that said. It, it showed something there for a moment. Okay, hang on a second. I need to jump down. Jump down with them. There we go. Just get you guys out of here. It showed like a star count or something, I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't know what the heck I saw, honestly. Oh, there we go. The throwing of my hammers is inertia-based. Uh, jump. There we go. Kill this guy. Yeah, but as you can see, you can create some very interesting levels here. Uh, I don't even remember what the yellow Koopa is. Although I do know you are from, uh, Super Mario World, I think. I came down here looking for treasure, but all these blocks are in the way. Well, maybe I can... Oh yeah, these are the ones I can just pick up and throw. There we go. Get out of here. I'll throw it at this guy over here. Yeah, there we go. You're not getting back in your shell, buddy. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, nerd! Okay, cool. Uh, just keep on killing you guys. What are the eggs? Are these eggs good? Are they good eggs? They're not even hatching. Uh, oh, oh, jeez. I just, I just pushed them. Oh, wait, because I can pick them up. Okay, does one of them, okay, one of them has a one up. What does this one contain? This one just contains, contains an enemy that apparently gets rid of my power up instantly. Because that makes perfect sense. Uh, <laughs> Well, because I don't think that's how- that's how it behaves in the actual Mario games. Okay, how do I get my- my Tanuki suit back here? I know I have it, how do I- how do I drop it down here? Because I know I can activate this somehow. I just tried pressing literally every button on my keyboard, or every key on my keyboard. None of them do anything. So, I- I- I'm not even sure how to- how to- how to get my Tanuki suit back then. I don't know how to make it drop out of the- out of the item thing. So, okay, well, I guess, I guess I'm just continuing on without it. Forget it, then. I don't care. I don't care, does it look like I care? Because I don't. Okay, what is that? That's just, that's just Goombas? Okay. Uh, that apparently killed each other. Oh, because the eggs are what's killing each other. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna move along here because I don't give a gosh darn dang about you boys. And... Of course, I died to that enemy. Well, on the plus side, I did find a blue Yoshi somewhere. I do know that the blue Yoshis can fly. Wow, I died right next to the star? Are you... Well, I did get one, so I mean, that's that's good at the very least. What else have you got Have you got in store for me? Actually, can I go back in, this, in here and just steal this guy's treasure again? Yeah, I can, actually. Okay. Well, I'm fighting with a blue Yoshi this time. I don't, uh... Suppose Yoshi can can eat this guy, can he? Actually, can I just leave Yoshi running around here? Probably can. Yeah, he's because Yoshi's not going anywhere. I don't think Yoshi himself can can damage this guy. Uh, how did that hurt me? Okay, I'm not I'm not understanding some of the hitboxes here. Here, take take some. Oh my god. I said take some hammers with you. Okay, hang on a second. Get over here. Die, please. Thank you. Alright. Well, that was completely pointless because I lost the, the power-up. Okay, whatever. I think that was the only the, the only star we needed anyway. That thief stole my pie! Nom nom nom. 
Okay, I guess I guess it was that thief you're referring to. Yeah, I mean there is there is this guy. Hang on a second. Get out of my house. Yeah, no can do, buddy. I have to. I need. I have work. I need to do. Boo, you you stay there. Can I? I can't. Can I not? Okay, I guess I can't eat the piranha plant. Fine. Whatever. We'll just move along then. Um, what do you have to say? I heard there's a star. There's a star hidden in a cave under Mushroom Pass. I think I might have already gotten that one, though. What do you have to say? So you're looking for stars you can get into Bowser's castle. I'll let you borrow mine. Oh. Well, that's easy. <laughs> that was really easy. Easiest star pickup in the entire game. I do not understand why it boots me out. But it does give me an, an opportunity to go back and steal this guy's crap without me losing it. Hey, uh, oh. Okay, this time we're just gonna... I, I can't even throw hammers while I'm on Yoshi, so just stomp on his head. Is, is this even doing anything to him? Yeah, okay. There we go. We'll just we'll just leave now. Yeah, so as you can see, star-based gameplay. We can collect some stars in order to unlock different uh, parts of the map here. So, kind of like Super Mario 64. You can create some Super Mario 64-esque levels with it. It's definitely interesting because, I mean, you know, the, the retro Mario games don't have... Uh, don't have... I, I was going to say they don't have that, that feature, because that wasn't introduced until Super Mario 64. Uh, okay. Apparently this Koopa is friendly. It doesn't hurt me. Das ist mein Haus, your Koopa. I just offended so many people saying that. Oh, it just leads back into this house. I... okay. I guess there's nothing else left for us to do here. Yeah, because then there's there's only that that place there, but for some reason it doesn't seem like I can eat the piranha plant. Unless I have to destroy it with hammers. I think for now I'll just I'll just get out of here. Because I don't feel like hanging around these parts. Can I just go to the castle? Okay, well this looks normal. Oh, there's like an opening animation for the door. It's terrible! The princess has been kidnapped. When is she never being kidnapped? Or when is she not? Bowser was here. I'm waiting in line to use the bathroom. I can't hold it anymore. Toad always takes so long. Oh god, looks like someone flooded the bathroom. What are you doing here? Mario helped the toilets overflowing. Again, I'm Luigi. Fine, I'll fix your frigging toilet. Okay, I, I think I see what's what's causing it to clog. It's, it's the star. It's the star that's causing it to clog. Give me that, please. Actually, can I go down in the, the other pipe, I wonder? Oh, that does open up a new area, though. Oh, it opens up a bunch of areas. A Wara pipe leading to somewhere. Okay, another thing that goes to Mushroom Heights. Whatever that place is. Hang on a second. I want to go back in here and see if there's anything over to the right. Help? Go talk to the Chancellor? Are you the Chancellor? Bowser has once again kidnapped the princess. Take the Wara Pipe to Vista Hill and rescue her. I don't really feel like doing that right now, though. I just kind of want to go to maybe Mushroom Heights. You know, take the day off and stomp on some Goombas. But first and foremost, I want to see if I can go down into uh, this pipe right here. Oh, okay. So that's that's also kind of like Super Mario 64. All of the stars you've already collected are shown in blue. I see. I see. Okay. That is definitely interesting. Uh, I think I will maybe just play one more level, and then maybe, uh, to end this video off, I'll show you guys the, uh, level editor, I guess? Um, but yeah, that's- that's basically what this- what this game is, guys. You can- you can create your own Mario games, essentially, with Super Mario Bros. X. What are you doing all the way up here? Be careful not to fall off, it's a long way down. Well, thankfully, I do have my, uh, my trusty flying Yoshi, which, uh, actually... I'm not even sure if I can make him fly right now, but... Alright, whatever. Precision platforming. This is not something I'm not used to. Oh, gee. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a uh, close dodge and a half right there. Oh, God. Where, what the heck? Is this guy, like... Oh, this guy's, like, targeting me. Well, that's what happens. Okay, that was not smart at all. Uh, are these gonna go back into place? Yes. Because I know how these blocks behave. I know how they behave. And what I did there was not smart in the slightest. Alright, move on this platform right here. I don't know where we're gonna go. Don't know where it's gonna take us. Oh, it's gonna take me over to another yellow... yellow Koopa? 
Yellow Koopa? Okay, well, that's... I, I don't know how... Well, okay, well, that was that was a good shot, though. I still killed it, but... That is not at all what I meant to do. Okay, you get out of here. I didn't mean to move it over that way. Oh, the shells bounce now. Okay. That's interesting. I don't think they, they used to do that before. Here, get, you get out of here. Yeah, I know that these Goombas are different, because I can just kind of, like, kick them around. Wow, okay. Nice dodge. Good dodge. I think it killed itself, actually. Because it flew off the screen. Yeah, enemies of Mario have never really been all that smart, have they? Okay, you 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 go away, please. You stop coming out of the pipe. Oh my god, what am I doing here? Okay, first of all, I want to try and kill you. How the heck did that hurt me? How in the world did that hurt me? That's baloney. That is absolute balogana. Okay, just jump on the pipes at the right time. Doesn't seem like I can go in any of them. Uh, I'm just gonna avoid you at all costs. The piranha plant was already in the pipe. That doesn't even make any sense. You know what, fine. If you guys want me to go to Vista Hill, then I'll just do it. I don't give a gosh darn crapola anymore. Let me just swim over here. This pipe will probably take me over there. I assume. I still can't figure out how to... What the heck is this? Really? We're, we're, we're just going to the castle already? But do I need a certain number of stars? No, I can already just go to Bowser's castle. Okay. I guess all that other stuff is not even required. Oh, wait. No, I do need... I do need stuff. You're not getting in here. This door has been magically sealed. You have to gather ten star pieces to open it. Get lost, punk. Okay, so I do actually need to do something there. Uh... Okay, well, I guess we can't do that then, because we do need to go to, to the other... the other place, then. You know, these homing paratroopas really aren't smart at all. They, they, they try and target me, but then they just end up falling... falling off the map. So... Like, like, really? I thought, I thought you guys would be a little bit smarter than that. Like, they end up flying towards me, but then they go so far below the map that they just die. So, that's... amazing. Amazing AI. Absolutely impressive AI. Okay, what's going on here? Can I kill you with one of these eggs? Wait, can I not even can I not even pick these up if I am small Luigi? Doesn't even seem like I can see they fly below the map and then they just die. Oh, I need to be going fast enough. That's what I have to do. Yeah, hi, how are you doing? Kill you. Uh looking for a Yosh. Looking for a Yosh. Go. Well, there's my mushroom at the very least. I I do need that. I would very much like that, yes. Throw this. No, that's another Koopa. What does this contain? A 1-up. I... Uh, well, I could probably use that, but I'm not going to for now. Okay, it's just it's just Koopas. Jump over to here. And once again, I, I died right next to the star. Well, I died not too far away from the star. Okay. And where does that lead to? That leads back to Fungi Village, and then it leads over to another area called... Spiny farm. Oh boy. Well, this place looks lo looks a lot nicer. Well, not that Mushroom Hills didn't look nice, or whatever the the heck it was called. Uh, okay, Lakitu. Yeah, I see you, Lakitu. I see ya. Spinies everywhere. Uh huh. Oh jeez, those are rolling spinies. Okay, yeah, no, I'd rather I'm not dealing with any of that garbage. Go away, please. Oh good God, I gotta run. Run to the hills! And... I wasn't able to run to the hills, guys. They they murdered my soul. Alright, well, I think I'm done playing this. Well, I guess really quickly, I could show you guys battle mode, then. Uh, we can go to the level battle zone right here. I can play as Luigi, and the other character plays as Mario. But, uh, as you can see here, I'm only controlling Luigi, because, I mean, that's the only person I can control. This is a, uh, you know, a, a two-player game. But basically, what you're doing here is that you have to... Kill the other player with various items. There's also enemies that do spawn after a while, uh, basically telling you to, to hurry the heck up. Okay, yeah, hi, how are you doing, Mario? You're just gonna be staying there. You're just gonna be staying there. Um, I don't even remember what the two-player controls for this are. Also, I do think that... Oh, okay, no, you can't actually fall in there. I thought I thought you would appear at the top, but I guess, I guess you don't. Alright, um... Yeah, I don't even remember what the two-player controls are in this game. Oh wait, I think I I think I just found them actually. Yeah, I, I I did something. I did something here at the very least. Uh yeah, give me give me this mushroom here. Okay, yeah, I found out how to make how to make 
the other player jump. Is the only thing I can do? Oh, I can use the numpad. Okay, I just teleported somewhere. I definitely just teleported somewhere. But yeah, you guys can get an idea as, as to how it works, and holy crap, Mario just got his face blown off by a bomb. I won! By doing literally nothing. Uh... Yeah, but that, that's basically that's basically what it is. That's all I can really say about it. I'd be able to demonstrate this a lot better if there was another person playing with me, but there isn't, so... Oh well. Um... I, I don't know about, uh, what's going on in the background. I guess you can play all these levels with more than one player. It's kind of like a co-op mode, but, um, yeah, I don't know how, I don't know how to trigger that. Not really sure if that is an actual mode, though, but you can just see the, uh, computer control players me messing around in the background. That's, that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. I guess I'll show you guys the level editor lastly. Oh, whoa. Peach has pink fireballs, I just noticed. That's pretty cool. Right, so real quickly, this is the level editor for Super Mario Bros. X. Now, as you can see here, there's two different windows. You have a level window within the actual level editor itself. So, you do have different selections here. You have an eraser, which allows you to just, you know, remove uh, tiles and NPCs that you didn't want to place there. Uh, you can also place some blocks and tiles by, well, simply clicking on the blocks and tiles button right here. You can just left-click and drag in order to place some blocks. That's how it works. Um, I'm not entirely... I don't remember how to scroll through the different types of blocks, though, because I'm pretty sure there are more. Uh, let's see here. Test level 1-up, no. Test settings, view. Uh, you can view the layers and also the events. Uh, we could add some background elements, too, as you can see. So this is, this is basically how it works. It is pretty simple to use, but there is a lot of stuff that you can uh, choose from right here. Also have different NPCs. Um, right-click just goes back to selection. I think if you select, yeah, you can just, you can just move certain tiles around if you misplaced something. Very good. Uh, level settings, I don't remember what this is at all. I haven't really used this that much, so I don't fully remember how this even works. Uh, yeah, just to make this not make any sense whatsoever, put some water down there. It's a good neon water. Uh... Yeah, you can just... Oh, you must save or load the level first. Um, well... Actually, save or load the level. Okay, well, the only option I do have is save, so... File name cannot be blank. Blah, blah, blah. There, just, just set it to that, and then just test the level. I already saved the level! What are you... Okay. Um, yeah, then the level window pops up, and I don't think anything actually happened. Uh, because I don't think we placed a, uh, a spawn point. Um, God, I, I really don't remember how to, how to use this at all. What is the world editor? Okay, maybe I don't wanna, don't wanna do that. Um, it probably changes the map itself, or edits the map itself, I would assume. Uh, blocks and tiles. Okay, but how do I... Can I cycle through? Oh, okay, I can use the arrow keys to move around. Uh, but how do I... I don't remember, how do I scroll through the different kinds of enemies here. I don't, like, I'm pressing every single key I possibly can, and it's not, it's not doing anything. It's, it's the same problem that the game itself has. It's like there's barely any controls, and I don't feel like the controls are, uh, explained very well to me. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, can I have some help, please? Does this even still work anymore? I'm not sure. Uh, it opens up an RTF document. Okay, no, I'd rather... I would rather not. Uh, online chat window. What about events? Level start. Yes. Can I change the the level? What 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 even is all of this? No smoke, P-switch start, P-switch end, horizontal speed, vertical speed, auto-scroll? Holy crap, dude. Uh... Could it, wh well, where is the level start though? Because I can't, I can't see it anywhere. Uh, yeah, but you got, you guys get the point. It's, it's a level editor for Super Mario Brothers X. This is, this is where all the magic happens, basically. If you want to create your own levels, of course, this is pretty much a pointless feature now, considering we have things like Super Mario Maker. But I guess if you want to create your own Super Mario All Stars themed levels because I don't think there is a theme like that in Super Mario Maker. I guess, I guess it would be useful to you, but other than that, uh, yeah. 
a feature that was useful before in fan-made Mario games, but because we have Super Mario Maker, it's kind of, well, outdated. You know, a feature that we don't really need even in fan-made Mario games anymore. I mean, we, we, we just have Super Mario Maker. Why, why, why would we ever need this anymore? I mean, this would have been useful to us, like, ba prior to 2015, but it isn't anymore, so, you know, what's the point? But again, guys, this is basically what you had to do if you wanted to create your own Mario levels. You had to develop your own Mario game that allowed you to do this, because, uh, this was before Super Mario Maker. Remember, this, this, this fan game came out, uh, like, in 2013, before Mario Maker was even announced, so... Um, yeah, that's, that's all I really have to say about it, though, guys. It's, like I said, it's very complicated, and I do not for the life of me remember how to use it. I don't think I've even used it at all before, so... Ugh, I, I just, I don't, I don't even know. Can I, can I go to, to, to battle game here? Okay, Luigi's down over here. Oh, and then everyone just, just dies instantly, of course. Yeah, hi, hi, how are you doing? You're, you're, you're just in a, in an empty black void. Just, just, uh, sent, sent here to, to suffer. Oh, and I, Luigi still won anyway, guys. So, I guess there was still a winner after all. Yeah, I have, I have no idea how to use this thing, so. I'm just going to end this video for now, guys. So that's Super Mario Bros. X. Other than that, it's just a pretty normal Mario game. Like, a pretty standard Mario fan game, if I may be completely honest with you. But, uh, the level editor, I mean, it was the main attraction of the game. I mean, you can get an idea as to how complicated it is, because it, it shows all of this stuff here. I'm not even sure what, what most of this stuff means at all. So, it's still, it's still really nice. I mean, there is definitely a lot to it. There's a lot of depth to the level editor, which I definitely appreciate. And I still appreciate the time and effort that uh, the developers of this game went, went through, you know, in order to get this game created. Because I'm pretty sure this game was made by... Not just one person, I believe it was made by multiple people. Um, features like this, even in fan games, are pretty much pointless now, considering we have Super Mario Maker. But, you know, just uh, a nice throwback to uh, the old times, even though the old times were, like, just prior to 2015. So it's not necessarily old times, considering it was only, like, two or three years ago. So, yeah, just wanted to show this fan game off to you guys, because this was something I had been meaning to play for a couple of years now, but I just... I, I forgot I had even downloaded this, and I pretty much forgot it even existed as well. Just a little testament to the old days of Mario Brothers fan games, where you basically had to create your own Mario game if you wanted to, you know, make your own Mario levels, or if you, or, or basically you had to make ROM hacks. It, it was either develop your own standalone Mario fan game, or create a ROM hack of an existing Mario game. That was the only way you could make your own Mario levels prior to Mario Maker. You know what I find surprising about this fan game, though? This game still hasn't been taken down by Nintendo. Like, when I was going back to uh, this game's website just to see if the site was still up on the internet, I was surprised to see that it still was, because I thought that Nintendo would have probably uh, filed a cease and desist order against the developers of this game, saying, hey, we don't, we don't want you developing fan-made uh, creations of any of our IPs, because, I mean, they also did this with, with Pokemon and Metroid, too. But no, this is one of the very rare examples of Nintendo just simply not giving a crap. You know, this, this, this game is still available on the internet for download. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it is still in active development. Uh, there hasn't been a new version of Super Mario Bros. X in particular for a while. This version came out in early 2014, uh, version 1.3.0.1, and it's still the most recent version. I do believe the developers are working on a sequel to Super Mario Bros. X, simply called Super Mario Bros. X 2, which is currently in a beta stage of development. Again, I, I don't even see the point of making Mario fan games anymore, considering we have Mario Maker. I mean, that's that's basically wh where we can create all the Mario fan games we want, live out, live out our, our Mario fantasies, pretty much. Like, why would we even need Mario fan games anymore? I feel like ever since Mario Maker came out, Mario fan games have become kind of irrelevant now. Because we now have an official tool from Nintendo that allows us to create our own Mario levels and essentially make our own Mario games. Why on earth would we ever need something like this anymore? It's, it's pretty much useless at this point. 
Anyway, I'm just rambling on now, guys. If you want to download Super Mario Bros. X and try it out for yourself, the link is in the description. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video I make. Later.